Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of May 28th, 2012. Welcome to the site to all you new members and welcome back to the old members. The Ask Video Mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your question if I'm going to answer it. So please send it to webmaster at KennyRoy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There's no such thing as a stupid question and it's the best way to take advantage of your subscription. Now, speaking of subscription, all of you who have signed up for the 30-day free trial, I hope you're enjoying this site. You should take advantage of the hefty discount that you get as a member in the store, load up on videos uh, while you have the chance. I hope you stick around and become a part of the community and a part of the site. We have a lot of great things coming up for you, a lot of really, really exciting things in the works, and I just can't wait to show everybody uh, what I've been working on. It's gonna be a really fantastic time. You can also earn referral bonuses. You get 30 days free if your friend signs up and puts you down as their referrer um, in, the, in the form. Okay, so that's just a great way to uh, get free time on the site. You get 60 days if they sign up for a year. So um, you can take advantage of all of these uh, programs. Now they can't use a promo code, it has to be a normal sign up. Um, but again, it's a great way to just earn free time on the site and stick around here at KennyRoy.com for, for longer and longer. It's been a very, very crazy time. It's actually, uh, it's actually Memorial Day right now. Uh, everybody is off, but of course I'm in. I'm working because uh, you know there's no no rest for the for the the weary. But uh, I'm enjoying it. There's a lot of projects going on at my studio right now. A couple new projects have come in, and I'm getting excited just to hunker down and start working on a little painter. And for all of you who are Kickstarter backers and you have purchased the 250 or up, I think it's 250 or up. Uh, that backing level, you actually get access to the production blog, and I'm going to be starting that very soon as well. So fear not, fret not, we are going to be getting into some some crazy, crazy exciting animation goodness. A lot of trouble. It's going to be fun. Going to be exciting. Take advantage of that. You can also send me. Don't forget, you can send me your Maya file. I don't get very many Maya files. I'd love to get more because sometimes you know, pictures worth a thousand words. If you have a 48 frame shot then that's 48,000 words that uh, you 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 uh, saving yourself from putting into an email. Sometimes it's just the, the best way to, for me to see what's going on is just to see your your, your my file and, and just work on it. So uh, go ahead and send it to me if you like, and uh, we can do that. Let's see, it's the 28th, June 1st is Friday, and I will be contacting all the people who are Kickstarter backers that chose the Shot Coach reward level, okay? Now, I'm going to be taking down the Little Painter backer out of the store, but I'm going to leave up the Shot Coach. But you're not going to get everything below that as well as you did when you signed up or, or when you bought it from the Kickstarter and you bought it from the store up until now. So you, if you get the Shot Coach from the store, it is just one-on-one -on -one tutoring for one shot and uh, and we, we won't stop until it's the best thing you've ever animated. And that's the, that's the guarantee, okay? But if you, if you get that after this Friday, again, you won't get all the reward levels below that. You don't get the production blog. You don't get the DVD, postcard, poster, your name and the credits. You don't get any of that. Um, so if you were thinking about it and you still want all those awesome rewards from the Kickstarter project, you should get it now. If you just want to save it, that's your prerogative. Um, that will probably always be up there, Shot Coach, okay? So, uh, let's get to the question. It's a goodie. I've said this a lot to my students. Now it's time to show you what I'm talking about. Let's take a look. Very good question. I have constantly said, I am like, oh, I am like annoying. I annoy myself, I repeat this so much, that you have to have the fundamentals in the face. So the simple question is, yes, there is a medium pose. There is an intermediate pose between like um, happy and sad and like calm and shocked and like, um, 
uh, why any any two faces you can think of there needs to be a breakdown there needs to be those fundamentals um, on top of that I really like it when the face is very physical meaning like if they're you walking down stairs that like maybe there's just like a little bit of overlap on the eyebrows it just makes the face feel really fleshy and like it's skin sliding on bone uh, it's very very exciting to me when I see a very fleshy face you know in a performance uh, but I'm going to show you just really quickly how to uh, choose that intermediate pose uh, between two facial poses. Uh, I've built the bi very basic body animation and just a little bit on the eyelids here. So we're going to go from a sort of like a like inquisitive kind of looking face to like a shocked face. Okay, and you're just going to see it's, it's just going to come together naturally, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the fundamentals. Um, specifically anticipation um, need to be put into the um, face uh, you know just like they would the body anticipation follow through um, squash and stretch all of these things but specifically this this breakdown pose is probably going to be most resemble anticipation okay um, so let's just take a look here I have Morphe Morpheus and he's kind of just like looking at something and then he gets um, shocked so I'm just going to go just a little bit deeper into the um, facial pose here, um, just um, key keying everything kind of, and and making it so that he's kind of like squinting, and and kind of like looking at something like really closely and, and trying to figure out like what it is or 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 where it comes from or whatever. What's that cheek control? First time I've ever actually animated Morpheus's face, and it's very fast. I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but it's actually very fast. Um, very quick, very quick rig. Maybe just a little bit of snarl, just a just a tiny bit, just like one little boop, little tick. And the cheeks is that controlling this eye level? <laughs> These are funny shapers. Is this eyelid? Yeah, we have no cheek control, it looks like. What's that do? Oh, there we go. Just kind of squint this a little bit. That move the mouth, is this the jaw? Where's the jaw? There we go. Just uh, making little adjustments. What I'm doing is I'm just, I just want to make sure that this pose that I'm getting really looks like he's, he's squinting so that we have, we have somewhere to go. And normally what will happen is, is actually this squint will, will be, you know, will be about halfway before the, uh, the okay, so the face is, you know, he's moving in, but he's actually done squinting, you know, a lot sooner. Um, I want to put this all in the same frame for now. So let me just delete that. So we have anticipation on the body, right? So when he gets scared, he actually rotates his head forward before he rotates it back, right? So let's on that last frame where the head is, you know, kicking back. Now let's build our surprise bows. We can go way overboard with it. I'm trying to figure out why this is why this is shaped so oddly. Oh, I moved this. These eyebrows. Just 
Just making little adjustments. I really like how this rig is kind of unlocked, like you can really overdrive it. Um, okay, so let's just say that we're happy with this pose, and he goes from that to that, okay? Now, just kind of mirroring, or maybe one frame before the, the end of the anticipation on the head, that tilt down, we're going to create a face pose that is um, basically the good mechanical uh, anticipation of uh, this, this, this big uh, moment. Now, this big moment feels very stretched, right? So, excuse me, we know that the opposite of stretch is squash. So we want to try to do what we can to actually squash um, his face. And I might even go into the head shapers and even like squash that down, okay? Um, and then put the you know put a little bit of stretch on the on the other end uh, um, once we once we get there once we're in that stage and we'll refine it down. But you'll see that basically it's it's as simple as it is putting into the body. It's just people forget to do it, and um, it's real shame because it adds so much. Especially when you're doing a cartoony performance, this adds so much. It adds it adds so much flavor. So much goodness to your animation. So let's just build like a really crunched up pose um, that uh, that gives us everything that we we kind of need here. Gonna try to move the mouth. Kind of. What I'm actually looking for is. Looking for basically the the furthest I can go with the controls that will give me the the most like almost uncomfortable scrunching that I can get. Don't want to lose the volume too much in those cheeks here. But I don't have very much, you know, range in the in the cheeks or anything like that. Let's even let's even do this. Let's even move the eyeballs themselves down. Where where are the eyeball move? Okay, let's move the eyeballs themselves down. With the eyebrows. Let's move the nose and mouth up. Oops. Got to find the right shapers here. Okay, super scrunched. I'm getting some overlap, you know, in these verts here. Some volume problems, definitely. Looks like it's the nose that's causing all that pinching right there. Can I get away with it? Maybe if I move this back out? No. Okay, well, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the shapers here, which is okay. All right, we'll just leave that. All right, so let's just key everything again. Deselect these head and neck controls. Make sure that this, that all of these were keyed on the right position. Okay, and there you have it. Okay. Gonna make sure that this goes back to normal though. That all these, all these shaper controls go back to normal. Zero, zero. Is the brows? Yeah, brows. Yeah. Now let's do just a little bit extra. See this on the head? Just a little bit extra. bring it back okay so now very very simple obviously more refinement always necessary always good and 
but we here, what we here what we have is basically just our, our our preliminary breakdown between these two facial poses. So looking and then what? 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 Now let's compare. Let's do this. Copy that. Paste it. And now on the second one, let's remove, let's remove this anticipation pose. Okay, and take a look at the difference here. So we're gonna watch with and without. With, without. See the difference there? We never, ever, ever get the same impact when the, when the anticipation is, is just not there. It looks like I'm having a little bit of drift and some errant controls that I forgot to delete the keys on, but um, the, the, the impact is still very, very, very clearly visible there. We, we are looking for a very solid workflow that has all the fundamentals built into your facial animation as well as your body. That is the goal. So uh, yes, the short answer is yes, there is an in-between pose. There is a, a pose in the middle. And it's, it's basically derived from your good understanding of the fundamentals of animation, anticipation, overlap, follow through, squash and stretch, ease in, ease out, those kinds of things, and looking for how they would react um, in the face. What, what I like to do is just kind of sometimes pretend the face is the body. It pretends the body. So when it turns like this, sometimes like I like to put just like a little bit of overlap like on that jaw where it like kind of lags behind if they're going like, no, like that. Sometimes I'll just have them go, no, kind of like get like a schmaltzy, bleh, kind of fleshy feeling face. It's very exciting to do when you, when, you, when you get it right. And the only way to get it right is practice. So thank you for sending in that question. It was a great one. Uh, I'll post up this my file for you guys to just check out. Um, there's not, not much in there. You saw all there is, but um, just to look at and, and, and see what's going on inside. Um, great. Please send in more Ask Video Mail questions to webmaster at kennyroy.com. It's a great way to take advantage of your subscription. Um, I hope you stick around. Uh, tell your friends about the free trial membership. It's still going to stay up on the uh, homepage uh, indefinitely, so uh, have, them, have them check it out. Um, look forward to those next uh, webcasts that I'm going to be announcing uh, soon, and a lot more changes around here at kennyroy.com. You're going to love my promise. Thanks for watching, good luck with your animation, and as always, rock on.